I think Palm Beach County is a great destination place for weddings. So I hope that we uh, we market ourselves in that way. We're very um, we're we're very focused on equality here in Palm Beach County. It's important to us, those of us who live in West Palm Beach and in Palm Beach County. So I hope people will see our county and our city as a place to come and be married. The Supreme Court decision making same-sex marriage law in the United States has been greeted with euphoria by many, derision by many, and fair to say a lot of curiosity by many more as the entire nation seeks to understand the ramifications of this decision. To be fair, it is also greeted with plenty of smiles and anticipation from those seeking two things. One is to be married legally, and the other is to make their city, maybe even their state, a destination for those seeking to be wed. No matter how you look at it, this is a decision that has changed millions of lives. Let's welcome to Midpoint the mayor of West Palm Beach, Florida, Jerry Moya, along with the first couple married by the mayor, Will Davis and Matthew Chambers. Thank you so much for joining us, Madam Mayor, and gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for asking us. To you first, with regard to this decision and your announcement, was this a political decision, an economic decision, or a moral decision to get it out there that you want people to come here and be married? Oh, gosh. Um, I think I was just so excited about the fact that uh, the Supreme Court said that you know, same-sex marriage would be legal throughout the country, that uh, somebody asked me what I thought the effect might be on our city, and I, I hoped that it would be the fact that people would come to our city and be a part of it. But the bigger, the bigger important piece was now it's legal countrywide, um, you know, and that's, that's just the best part of it. It doesn't hurt, though, making yourself a tourist destination, <laughs> making sure that people can come, because that is about the job of mayor. You of want to make, bring people to your city. We, we like to promote our city, but um, I think that we have been in the forefront of gay rights. We've uh, initiated many, many of new ordinances that address uh, domestic partnerships in our, in our city and in city government. And we've been working on this for a number of years, to, and then to actually see that now um, people can marry who they want. Has the reaction been completely positive from your inner circle? And I'm curious, do you have any individuals on the clerk staff who are unhappy, who are talking about religious preferences? It's happening in Texas right now where the attorney general has told people there in the clerk's office, if you don't want to give out licenses, yeah. we'll let you say no because of your religion. Has any of that happened in West Palm Beach? Well, it wouldn't because the county uh, is, the clerk's office is the county uh, jurisdiction. So I don't know that anything has happened. I know Sharon Bach, who is the county clerk, has always been 100% behind same-sex marriage. So I don't expect that that will be happening. Not either. a lot of negatives, though, from your staff or from anybody there? Not my staff. Because it has happened nationally. So, gentlemen, to you now. How important was it to you to be married, not just in the sense of civilly and getting that license, but to be married in the faith as well, is that also important to you? Absolutely. Um, and we, and we, have, we have been married by the city, by the mayor on January 6th legally, but we also had a church ceremony at MCC Church in November. So we, it's very important to us. Our, we're both Christians and we, we attend church regularly, so it's really important. You're both Christians right. and you right. attend church regularly. Now right in there, therein lies a lot of the rub nationally because many times on the side of churches, people are saying, we don't agree, we will not marry same-sex couples. Why in your church? Why is it different there? God loves everyone, in my eyes, so I don't care what anybody else says. It's what matters what God states is that God loves everyone for who they are. Then why is so. it so tough to get that across to other people of other faiths across the country? People have been using the, the Bible for many years to, to, to suppress people and keep people down rather than the opposite way. Uh, I think our church is an affirming church, but it's just not our church. There's many churches now that recognize same-sex couples uh, and marriage equality. And why wouldn't anybody want to have people in long-term, loving, committed relationships where you're going to take care of each other, build funds together, maybe house together, you know, where you can give, lean on each other? I think most people support that now. Have you found any problems with with housing and employment because that's the next issue that a lot of people are talking about regarding same-sex marriage. Not us. I mean, I, we're I can we're tell blessed. you my company for many years has been long supportive of same-sex relationships even in domestic partnerships and I can tell you I can answer one of the questions about the city staff. The city staff actually the day that we were married on January 6th used their own money to decorate the lobby with flowers and they came to, I, I, I mean the entire office must have been down there so um, I think the city has been more than supportive and one of the reasons we moved to the city was because of the way the city reacts. I only got about 90 seconds it's a shame we could talk for hours on this but Mayor I want to pose this question to you and then to you gentlemen as well. How do we reconcile in your opinion 
the country when it comes down to same-sex marriage and this amazingly large Grand Canyon-esque rift that it has created in America? Well, you know, I think the rift is not as large as you're describing it. The majority of people are in favor of same-sex marriage and have been all along. There are people who will continue to have their beliefs, and uh, we're not trying to say they shouldn't believe what they believe, um, but they, can, they can't impose those beliefs on other peoples and deny them their rights under, uh, it, through the, the state, their state rights to be married. And, um, I, you know, I think if, if you don't believe in same-sex marriage, then don't participate in same-sex marriage, but don't discriminate against other people. Who then do. how do we do that, gentlemen? How, in your opinion, do we bring the sides together? Because, let's face it, there's a very vehement opposition to what's happened here in America right now. How do you solve it? Hopefully today is part of that because they see that our relationships are no different than everybody else's and that's what we want people to realize, that we're in loving, committing relationships and we're a part of the community and we want to be part of the community. So, I mean, we were together for 10 years before we said our I do's. That's large, you know, where we knew already that we were committed to one another. We already had a home together and many other couples have that same Love. And then I think the other piece is you can't expect everybody to have the same beliefs. Correct. And, you know, how boring would our world be? <laughs> um, but, but that you can't use that to deny um, rights to others. It will be interesting to see what this country does. It'll be interesting to come back maybe in a year and revisit this. Mayor, uh -huh. thank you so much You're for joining welcome. us. Gentlemen, once again, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, as we always say to my friends in New York, muzzle tough. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. So much. So, All right, when we come back, time to check in on what the money master has in mind because, let's face it, uh, money does make the world go round. We'll do that right here as we continue on Midpoint.